And you are welcome back. Joining us now is a very interesting personality here in the house who started life as a, well, in the law, let's put it as a lawyer, okay. and then on into the media, and she has blown the media out of the water. Her name is Omotsunde Adibo Ali Dibu. Yeah, just, just before, I wanted to mention, just before you mentioned that, I remember studying in school and I came across the word affective fallacy. Uh -huh. When someone does something so good, and then it's hard to take out their real life yeah. from that person. So that they go, ah, so she's Yoruba. Uh -huh. Because Adaku does a perfect job of being that Adaku. Yeah. It's great to have you. You are welcome. Well, well, you're welcome, man. Good <laughs> to have you Thank you here. so <laughs> much. It's always a pleasure to sit on your couch. Mm. Uh -huh. And you guys have been making me blush all morning. Uh -huh. so good. We yes. have? Okay, so let's let's talk about the progression. I know yeah. we've heard the story you, you're from law, OAP, act and all of that very fast, just for people that maybe don't know. Let's talk about the progression of your career. All right. I started out as a, a lawyer. Of mm. course, I practiced for like three years because mm. I wanted to be sure that it wasn't like I didn't like the profession. Mm. I love the delivery of courts when I'm in court, you know, mm -hmm. all the drama you can bring. I just didn't like the academic work so much. Yeah. So I moved into the media and I was with Radio Nigeria first. I did a couple of years there before I moved to Azobia. I stayed in Wazobia for a long time, a long time. <laughs> like almost 13 years. Then I left 2019. I became the general manager of um, another radio station, mm. that's Giddy FM. I did that for like almost into two years. Mm. Uh, but huh, you know, when you're a very transient person, yeah. it's so very hard for me to just sit in a place <laughs> and manage like a child. Mm. So I knew that I needed that fluidity that my life has always enjoyed. Mm, so okay, I get, I get it now. I, I get it now. That. I want to talk about your influence yeah. in media. First of all, you yeah. started at Radio Nigeria. When you Radio come Nigeria. Were, were you doing um, Indigenous Pigeon English then? No, I was doing pure English um, presentation Now, that that's time. the thing, because your influence on Pigeon English broadcast is one that they can't separate Lola no. from, you know, that Pigeon English broadcast. Mm. And people would say that you are one of the pioneers when it comes to that. Yeah. Um, when you think back, do you know the impact? Does it dawn on you the impact that you had wow. on Pigeon English broadcast? Mm. Trust and, me. and how was it when it started? Like, it's not now, it's mm. be fashionable. You know, I, I like to be at the beginning of new things yeah. because okay. I know that a lot of people have conquered territories. But if you start one, it has such uh, an effect on your life that you are able to cause something to translate and become a phenomenon. In fact, while I was in Wazobia, I'd been studied by universities. I personally, exactly. as a person, mm. like the delivery, Pigeon Library um, Dictionary has come to, you know, mm. interview, try to get your own perspective to words. I've had people do theses on Pigeon, mm -hmm. using me as, an, <laughs> as, a case mm. study. as a case study. So yeah. it's very, very enriching. Mm -hmm. To know that language, mm -hmm. you can do anything with it. Mm -hmm. So for me, it's about communication. It doesn't matter what you're communicating it. As long as you're communicating effectively. I'd like you to know that I was in one of those classes where you were used as a case study. Mm -hmm. And the fact that um, language is something that people are, re it's relative. Mm -hmm. You used words in your time that was not in the pigeon vocabulary yeah, okay. you make these things up and all of a sudden they slang. became pigeon slang they became yeah. palants everybody yeah. would use mm, them would use them uh, wonderful I, I, it was from you i heard first of the uh, totori story or something <laughs> like that and all that i'm like where do they get them from it, you know? the language is very dynamic it's mm. like the english language you can add to it you can create that's why exactly. we're human we're creating beings mm. and you know pigeon is so beautiful that you can actually have pigeon based on who you are. Mazino, Mazino speaks impeccable English. Your pigeon can actually sound that way mm. because it's a language that you can make your own. Mm. If you hear Wari pe people like the Wari Pekins of this world, they have a unique way and their pigeon is influenced by their language. Mm -hmm. mm. But there's a way you can speak pigeon and that's what I think I did, mm -hmm. that you can't tell its place. Mm -hmm. Okay. It doesn't sound Hausa, it doesn't exactly. sound Yoruba. So everybody can sound, identify so it somewhere. Everybody can identify it, in tie way. with it. And I say, pigeon is just like English in its lowest form. Mm. Mm. Okay. Even when you go to Sierra Leone, you'd hear them speak Creole. Yeah. It's their type of pigeon, influenced by their language. So that's how dynamic pigeon can be for everyone. Mm. So I tell people that you don't have to speak pigeon like me. 
I use the words, I enjoy it, I yeah. create it so. Mm. so that you can be able to buy into it mm -hmm. and put some more inflections of yours into it and make the, the language, the language more yours, your interesting. Own. All right, wonderful. Now, a number of people know you for your acting prowess yeah. and all of that, <laughs> you know, but has, um, ha, have you, would you say you have been stereo? Have you ever been a lawyer in any movie? No. Nah. Not yet. Exactly. Yeah. So look at how, I mean, yeah. look at how, look at how, look at how, can Lola, like, can Lola be this composed? She's a totally something. different person yeah. now from yeah. So would you say that you have been stereotyped in some kind of way? Well, you can't help being a Nigerian and in the movie industry, once you start to do comic roles and they like it, That's they it. seem to put you in that box. But I have played other characters that are totally not comic. Mm -hmm. That is English speaking character. In fact, this character you just played, I spoke Ijebu in it. No. But people don't care about I it. I produced two of my own films. Exactly. I intentionally started producing indigenous films in Yoruba. Mm. I just produced my second one. It's mm. about to come out, maybe on YouTube. It's called Deja Vu. I spoke Yoruba mm. in it. Mm. For people to know that, there's a lot more that we can do. Mm. Language is my thing. It doesn't yeah. have to be pigeon. It does. My daughter mm. presently is learning Korea. Yeah. Wow. Mm. So wow. it's... You're a very dynamic you person. I mean, first of all, you do your back characters. Your name yeah. is Lolo, as a you know, I'm Igbo, and then you speak impeccable English. I'm thinking of her as Annalise Kitten or something. Mm. Oh, okay. yeah. Who wants to get away more than this? She's just in the law court, and then we've yeah, come from serious crime. And let's get Lolo to defend us. But Lolo. you know, when you play real life characters, mm. it's just about what you're told to play. Mm -hmm. And mm. you have to be able to bring to bear mm -hmm. who that character is. Mm different from you. Mm. You know what? Let's see one of those characters. Let's see Sister in Kiruka, which is another <laughs> testament to how dynamic she can she be. Is an and when we get back, Lolo, you will not be speaking in English. Okay. Yeah. Let's check we'll this out. We'll talk about that then. <laughs> I beg, you go tell us now, what's in this character, what's in this character like, there about? Make you let us know. Obviously, a lot of people now. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh -huh. I beg, All right. let Doctor us know. Us make a normal. Uh, make uh, a uh, normal. You, you know, they tell people, say, pigeon are my money voice. Uh, <laughs> English, I feel dash anybody, but if you go pay me big money, mm. if I'm to MC your events and I pigeon, I go talk, you go pay more money past the one <laughs> when I go talk English. What? Yes, because at that one, everybody tell no me. Okay. Since I'm Kiruna, that's, you know, hypocritical sister way. Sabi religion, part of everybody. Mm. Uh -huh. Everybody get that kind of sister and care for anywhere with their day. Mm. That everybody knows Mommy Gio. Mommy Gio. Oh. Mommy Gio. <laughs> <laughs> this is a variation of Mommy Gio according to Lolo. Oh. Uh -huh. So the character can, you know, he gets your evolution. Mm. And everybody just like to play. I like to play with different things. Now, yes, th th let me ask this very important question. Being relevant in the entertainment industry, evolution, evolving, yeah. and all that, how important is it? How is it helping in your career? And how can younger people, like yeah. us, how can we, yeah. uh, uh, you know, just not doing one thing? How important is it to evolve? How, I, keep, how? I keep telling every broadcaster, every presenter, that there is, you are an art form. Mm. I don't just consider you a, a presenter. There is so many parts to you that you need to explore. Mm -hmm. And I just read up something, adaptability quotient. You must have it in this generation if you're to get ahead. It's not only about emotional intelligence. It's not your social skills any longer. You must be adaptable to know what is going on at the moment. You have to be able to do what everybody is mm -hmm. doing or you just become obsolete. You can't yeah. tell me you love typing 
and you still want to use IBM typewriter. Oh, wow. Yeah. It doesn't make any sense. Now, if there's <sighs> anybody who has, who has mastered the art of evolution, it would be you. It would be. It, you I are mean, moving on to another thing now. I'm not going to yeah. let anybody know yet, <laughs> yeah. but you guys will be surprised at how dynamic Lola can be or Motude or whatever you want to call us. Thank you. Yeah. You know what? We want to reward you, and MM has been in the kitchen all morning. Want to oh, my God. Yes. At, at Dako is who we are uh, uh, rewarding. Come on, over. Yes. Yeah.